Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Let's start our lesson today, which is very important to understand. This is my laptop and this is the cord. Is it correct to say my laptop's cord or the cord of my laptop? We can. So our lesson today will be about the plural process of nouns. So first, what is the difference between singular process of nouns and the plural process of nouns? Okay, the difference between the singular process of nouns and the plural process of nouns is that first, singular process of you have one thing, owning some stuff. The plural process of you have multiple things owning some stuff. So what does that look like exactly? Mm -hmm. Well. What if we have multiple boys, let's say two who share the bedroom? Let's see this example. So, if you look here at the singular positive, one boy has one room here. It will be like the boy's room. B O Y apostrophe S. But now we have multiple boys only the same room. So we have to start with plural form because we know we are talking about more than one boy. So when you have plural form, all we need to do to make a positive is add an apostrophe at the very end of the, of the word. So we can say something like the boy's room. B-O-Y-S. Then apostrophe at the end. Okay, let's try another. What if we have a bunch of girls, maybe three or more, and they all and they all uh, they all share locker room? Now remember, it's about the number of girls, not number of locker rooms. So here we have multiple girls. So you will start with, you start with the word girls, G I R O S which is the regular plural form. So to make a positive, you just add an apostrophe at the end. So we, add, we, we could say something like, the girl's locker room is really big. So if you got one dog and it has one poem, here it will be the dog's poem because here we have one dog D-O-G apostrophe S if you had multiple dogs that shared the bone it will be like the dog's bone D-O-G S then apostrophe as long as we make sure that positive noun and the thing that it owns are right next to each other in the, in the sentence you will ask me what about people men children okay what if we have multiple people who have very big houses so if you have a plural word that doesn't end with s and you want to make a positive here you're actually going to use the singular rule and add apostrophe s so look at the sentence here the people's houses are very big. Not notice, people is a plural but it doesn't end with s, like most other plural words. So we can just add an apostrophe at the end of this word, so we put apostrophe s. Here, the children's section is quite nice. Again, children is a plural, but it doesn't end with S like most other plural words. So we can't add just an apostrophe at the end of the word. So we bought apostrophe S. Is it clear now? Yes, it's very easy. Okay, now, please, let's write the rules with me. First, if you want to make a singular process of noun, you just take the singular form of that noun. 
and add apostrophe s all the time in all cases no matter what it doesn't matter what letter the word ends with if it's singular possessive it has apostrophe s second if you want to make a plural possessive noun and the plural form of that noun naturally ends with s just write the plural form out and add an apostrophe at the end but if you want to make a plural possessive noun and the plural form of that noun doesn't end with s uh, you will write the plural form and add apostrophe s and remember no matter what type possessive noun you are using the possessive noun and the thing that noun possesses must be right next to each other in the sentence now I want you to open your workbook on page 67 here do you remember we use apostrophe s to show the owner of something an object can have more than one owner read about the boys look at the example here this is the boys canoe the boys are the owners of the canoe the canoe belongs to the boy if the noun is a plural there is more than one owner we add after plural nouns ending in s like birds here the birds nest the birds are the owner of the nest the nest belongs to the birds let's do this exercise write the owners of the objects write the sentence the hens eggs who's the owner the hens and the eggs belong to the hens the girls horse who's the owner excellent the girls what about the horse the horse belong to the belongs to the girls the cows tails who's the owner the cows and the tails belong to the cows the bears cave who's the owner the bears and the cave belongs to the bears good job i hope that all of your answers are right let's try another exercise but first read if the plural noun doesn't end with s we add apostrophe s like the children the children's bags the children are the are the owner of the bags the bags belong to the children write the owners and write the sentence the men's boat the owner here the men the boat belongs to the men look at the second the people's city who's the owner the people and the city belongs to the woman's shoes who's the owner the woman and the shoes belong to the woman the geese's feather the geese is here the owner and the feathers belong to the geese good job girls now here we have a worksheet and i want you to do it at home as a homework it's very simple to do here you are going to write if the nouns here a singular possessive or plural possessive okay for next class we are going to practice how to write a leaflet and it will be very very interesting thank you for watching and see you next class bye bye